autumn has crept up very quickly this year. I am not ready for summer to be over, but can't do much about it. So I thought instead I would sit down and do a nice relaxing sewing video, do some smocking. I've wanted to do some more smocking for a while. It's weirdly addictive. <laughs> I don't actually know exactly what I'm going to make. I've had ideas floating around in my head for the past two weeks, but I think I've just got to get on and try something and see how it goes. I have two different fabrics that I'd put aside to do smocking projects with. The first one is this gorgeous Liberty Tana Lawn, which looks like that. I will link it down below where I got it from. Liberty fabric is always a bit of an investment, so I thought if I'm investing my time into smocking something, then I might as well do it. Oh, oh. <laughs> I've got to put those in there. A load of embroidery threads just fell out on my lap. Um, I think these are the threads that I was going to use. <laughs> Very autumnal themed, but I don't think I'm going to do this project just yet. Um, I kind of want to see how this other one goes first, which would be using this little bit of vintage Laura Ashley fabric, which looks like that. And I thought a little 70s style blouse would be very cute in this. The only issue I have with this fabric is that I don't think I'll be able to make full length sleeves, which I kind of wanted to do. I don't even know if I'll be able to do short sleeves with this. I think, oh, I might be able to actually. Hmm. We'll see. But apart from this fabric looking just very autumnal, I also was smocking with the same fabric the other day just doing a little sample and practice of my stitching and it was just so nice to sew it was some fabrics you really have to like get your needle through but this one was just like floating through so I think I will definitely be using this fabric today this is my little smocked sample I made so now I've got to decide which color embroidery thread to use on this this is my granny tin of thread I managed to find loads at a charity shop the other day and it's very helpful because now I've got loads of colours that I would have never really picked but you can sort of try them out see if they look good with the fabric. So I think I'm just going to create little panels, um, maybe a bit thinner than this, maybe this thickness um, and just have it as like a long strip across here and just attach it pretty much straight on to the shirt. And then at the seam underneath, I can either have a little bit of gathering or I can, you know, make it straight fitting rather than billowing out and wasting loads of fabric. So I'm going to go over and thread up my smocking machine. Before I thread up the machine, I'm just going to decide how thick I want this patch of smocking to be. Actually, I'm going to measure my fabric. <laughs> That is a better idea. It turns out I only have 1.4 metres of this, so it's definitely going to have to be some sort of sleeveless design. They're off the smocking cleater now, and I'm going to show you where I want them to sit on the shirt. So I think I just want them to be flat on the chest here, sort of like that. And then I'll have a little button placket here and collar. So I need to make sure they're about the right length. So I like to start by unpicking a few rows of stitches. Do about two is probably enough actually this time. Just so that you have some seam allowance to work with and it doesn't all get bunched up. And then it's also easier to know where to start the smocking. And then I just like to tie it into little knots. So I tie like two together in a row. Then once you've got the knots at one end, you can then start pushing all of the thread up against those knots. Mm. 
and then once I'm happy with those pleats I then do the same at the other end take some threads out okay I've finished threading up the smocked panels and now we can get on to the fun bit of embroidery I've just been sitting and debating the colours I want to go for I think I'm going to choose this one which is like a dark greeny grey and a brown and potentially a cream I'm not sure if this is too light and will just look a bit strange so I think I'm going to leave that out for now in my last smoking video I mentioned that I was um, splitting the threads for the embroidery thread but I think I'm actually going to keep them thicker this time because I think I prefer how it looks so I won't be doing that this time and that also saves me a little extra time not having to do that I'm going to start with the green and I'm going to do a long cable stitch all the way across the top and possibly the bottom I'm not going to lie most of smocking is just unraveling embroidery thread <laughs> so I always just knot one end and then simply just go in from the back and when you smock if you're right handed you always go left to right and I'm going to follow the top row of threads and you kind of go over under over under so I have the thread over to start with and then I go into the next pleat and you again stitching from right to left pull that tight but not too tight and then the next stitch we're going to go under and then just carry all the way along going okay. under over under over and this is a good stitch to start with because it holds all of the pleats quite well so I'm just going to carry on and stitch all the way across there changed my setup now I'm sat on my sofa with a pillow on my lap and the smocking right in front of me and it's just so much comfier than smocking at the table so I'm going to carry on I've now done the first row of stitching at the top and now I think I'm going to do a row of hmm, change to a brown thread so I'm just going to sit here and stitch away. finished stitching that row and I think I'm now going to do the exact same underneath it um, but in the same green colour at the top so it kind of starts to alternate in colour the next day and I've decided that I am making a square neck top that doesn't have any sleeves just so that I can definitely have enough fabric <laughs> and also I think it just suits the style of the smocking because the smocking can just sit across the top and have like little square straps coming off and I think it will look quite cute So this is the front piece 
and I'm going to put the smocking once I've attached a little bit the gathering section I'll then sew this flat just onto the front like that and it can have a cute little smocked detail I'm probably going to undo the stay stitches and see if it will stretch to meet the seam allowance at the edge I'm going to do the facing in a different fabric because I want to save as much of that nice vintage or astro fabric as possible. So the shape of the pattern that I've gone for is just square at the top so I'm going to have this up here and then the smocking will sit on top of it like that and then I've got these little gathered panels that'll go underneath so it's just going to be like a little top like that and then I think it would look really cute with like a roll neck underneath or in the summer I can wear it just on its own so I'm going to go and attach the gathered sections to the top and then I can figure out how to place this smocking panel on top So in the front and back gathered sections onto the blouse and it's looking very cute. So before I put the smocking on I need to put the facing on just around the neckline. So I'm going to go and stitch that on top. The facing has been stitched on and I also understitched it so that it doesn't pop out of the lining. I'm just going to press it. Okay, now we've got to the stage where I can put the smocking on. So I've just done the neckline facing. I haven't attached or done the burrito method yet. Um, so I'm going to pull the facing so that it's all out of the garment and I decided to just do the smocking on the front because I think it only needs to be on the front so I'm going to take these stay stitches out now the little pleating stitches and now I've got a little bit of stretch so I can make sure it's the perfect fit against here. I'm just going to trim some of these threads I've got at the back. So I'm just starting by pinning it at the side seams. So I'm going to take this over to the machine and I'm going to stitch up the side and along the top just above this first smocking line and stitch that into place and then I might do a stitch line sort of in between this smocking here at the bottom so that it doesn't stretch out of shape. It is looking very cute. So happy. There was a moment where I was really doubting this top. I mean, I still haven't put it together together, <laughs> so there's still time to mess it up. But I'm really happy with how this smocking's turned out. I couldn't resist a little try on <laughs> before I sew the arms up. It's so sweet. I love how this has turned out, and it's really nice that I've been able to control the volume in the shirt. I've used so much less fabric doing it this way. So let's burrito these armholes up.
arms had been burritoed and looking very nice and neat. So now all it's left to do is hem this little top and I'm going to try it on quickly and decide how much I want to take up because I kind of want to have a bit of a chunky hem. I think that would look quite nice. I've just put it on with my little thermal top underneath and the fit is perfect. Woohoo! I was a little worried that it would be really gapy somewhere but it seems to be fine. Now I'm going to try some different hem lengths out. See what I like. This is with it a bit shorter. And that's long. Now let's try it shorter at the back. This is, I think this is a bit too short at the front. I think that length will be good because I like to tuck things in quite a lot. I need to have enough length so it's not just going to keep popping out when I tuck it in. I've just finished hemming the top and it's now finished. It's a little bit sticky out but that's kind of just the style. <laughs> um, and I'm probably going to end up tucking it in at the front at least maybe leave it at the back but I'm so happy with it I think it's really cute and very autumnal so there we go another smocked item to add to my wardrobe if you guys enjoyed this video there's another smocking video on my channel where I made a dress which is a bit more intense than this so if you want to see that then I will link it down below and yeah I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video